Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I'm not, wasn't really re ready yet to, to bring out this information here. I'm just, I figured I'd kind of share some things out loud with you guys. Of course, we're still going through a lot of sickness here in our family. So I don't have a whole heck of a lot of voice yet. My wife is very, very sick. So please keep her in your prayers. My father-in-law, the whole, just the whole family, very, very sick. Um, but at any rate, there, there's, there's a couple of things that caught my attention that I wanted to share with you guys. And one is here in Matthew 13, uh, specifically verse 49. Thus will it be at the end of days when the angels will go forth and separate the evil from the midst of the righteous. And they shall cast them into the power of fire, and they shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring that out is because if you go down to Matthew chapter 24, um, and there's a verse here that we don't have. Well, we have the verse in, in the King James Version but we got a little bit more here than than uh, in the Hebrew Matthew than what we have in the initial part of this verse here. Here we go right here, verse 41, Matthew 24, verse 41. Let me back up to verse, uh, say, 38 or so. Just as before the flood, they were eating, drinking, being fruitful, multiplying into the day when Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood come upon them and destroyed them. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then if there shall be two plowing in the field, one righteous and the other evil, the one will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding at a meal. One will be taken, the other left. This is because the angels at the end of the world will remove the stumbling blocks from the world and will separate the good from evil. Now that's the part that we don't have in the uh, in in our modern version of the Greek version of the Hebrew Matthew. We don't have that part there about speaking about the angels at the end of the world coming to remove the stumbling blocks, unless you go back and you look at. Matthew 13, uh, verse 49, which I just shared with you there. And so that's where you get the closest you'll have to that. Uh, in fact, I'll go to the Greek version right here. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. Now, I find it fascinating, though, because this is also speaking of the time in Matthew 24, where Jesus is talking about as it was in the days of Noah. So we already have that type of days of Noah we have living right now. And we're dealing with very demonic entities that are going to be coming upon the earth. And unless God sent his angels to separate and what's interesting, in this particular version of the Hebrew Matthew, the angels at the end of the world will remove the stumbling blocks from the world. I find that fascinating. You know, they consider Jesus to be a stumbling stone that the master builders had rejected. But in this case here, it can't be Christ that's a stumbling stone any longer, but it's those that Antichrist spirit that has gotten into the church, plagued the church to such a place to where the people just don't know good from evil. And I find it fascinating that the Heavenly Father is going to send his angels and is going to remove the stumbling blocks. Those stumbling blocks that will separate to where the harvest will be known who's who. As the scripture says in another place, you know that they shall, they shall gather together the, uh, 
the tares into, into bundles and, and shall order them to be burned. We are truly living in the final days. And we are going to be seeing a lot of strange things coming upon the earth. A lot of strange things are going to be happening. And I think that we just need to be prayed up and our hearts looking up. For we know not what 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 is to be next. We really don't. So I just want to encourage you a little bit to think about these things. And um, tomorrow again, we'll be speaking with you a little bit and just pray for us. We'll get better here very quickly, though, because there's been a lot of sickness in our family. God bless you and have a great evening.